So welcome back to the final lesson in the Tick Into series. And in this lesson, we're going to link the code that makes the program work to the interface that you already made. And I've called that bringing the interface to life. It means at the end of this lesson, you will have a fully functioning working program. So in lessons one to three, we made an interface and that's that's mine. That was my plan and then I made um, an interface to match the plan. You may have done that or you may have created your own interface for your own project or both. You can follow this lesson whichever of those two paths you've taken. We made a procedure so it was something like that and we made a Python program that called that procedure. And now we've got to link the procedure into the interface and then we'll have a complete working program. So I'm simply going to copy the procedure into the Tikinta program, but then I'm going to adapt it so that instead of the ordinary Python input command, it gets the input from that text box in the interface. And then I'm going to change the output from being the ordinary Python print command to setting the value of the label on the interface. And then finally, I'm going to connect the procedure to the button so that if you click on the button, the procedure is carried out. So uh, just copy the procedure that you wrote into the Tikinta program. Put it at the top where we normally put um, procedures and functions. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that input command there because that works in the Python shell. And I don't want this to go through the Python shell. I want it to go through my interface. So I'm going to get rid of the input command and I'm going to turn it into, I'm going to tell it, get the value that's in the text box. So I'm going to get a value from the text box. To do that, I've got to create a special variable called a control variable and link it to the text box. And so the variable will get whatever's in the box. So control variables are something in Tikinta that make a bridge between our code and the interface. Before we use a control variable, we have to declare them. There are four types of control variable. I'm telling you this for interest, but I'm only going to use the string type. Can you see they are classes? So they've got capital letters, um, string, integer, double var, um, that's a float and Boolean variable. But I'm only going to use the string version. And I'm going to create these at the top of my program. And I've called them user input and result output. That we need to declare that before the section of the program that creates the interface with the widgets. And in a typical interface, you'll have more than one input and more than one output. So those wouldn't be great variable names for a more complicated interface. But because I'm creating something very, very simple, I'm just going to use those very, very simple variable names, user input and result output. You can literally call them anything you like, you know, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, any, any words that you like, but I've chosen those two. So the one that I need to use first is the input variable. And I've added it to the box, the input box, what I've called the text box. And I've just said uh, the text of this box <coughs> is linked to the control variable called user input. You can just copy that command exactly as it appears with whatever the name of the control variable that you've chosen. And that command makes a firm link between the variable and the box. And then finally, so three stages, first create the control variable, 
secondly link it to the box and then finally we're going to replace the pounds input command which works in our uh, in the python shell we're going to change that so can you see the third line down pounds equals user input dot get so it, that says user input that was just the name of the variable that i invented so the name of the variable dot get and that just means get the value of that variable and put it into the pounds variable and the rest of my program is still the same convert it to float and multiply it by the factor so we're nearly there now now I'm going to amend the output command because again if I ran the program like it is now the euros would appear in the in the Python shell and that's I don't want them there I want them to be in my uh, GUI so I'm going to get rid of that line I'm going to use the uh, control variable that I just made called result output I'm going to link it to a label and then I'm going to tell my procedure to set the value of the label you can see it's extremely similar to the way that we get input so there we are I've gone to the label that's the result label and I've linked it to the text variable called result output and that really is it that means that that label will now display what is in that variable and so I'm going to change the last line of my procedure from print euros to set the result output to euros so result output that's just the name I made up of the variable I'm going to set its value to the number of euros and that should work So just to recap, I've changed the input command to a get command and the output command to a set command. And they will get and set my two control variables. And the control variables are linked to my interface and so the whole thing will just work fine. There is actually one other thing I've got to do. In my original program, the procedure was called from the main program. And I'm not going to do that. I haven't got a main program of that type. So what I'm going to do is change my program so that when I click on the button, it will carry out that command. So that's the last thing I've added. I've gone to my button widget and added that those commands that you see there those um, what you see there so command equals that just means the command that is linked to this button and pound to euro that was the name of my procedure so when I click on that button that procedure will be carried out and yes it works so having done all that there's my interface and it's, that's the, the less good version of the interface, but it doesn't matter. And I've entered £100 in the, the box there. You can still see my cursor in that box. I click the convert button and £100 is equivalent with this conversion factor to €117. Euros and it's, it's worked. So, you know, make that happen. Do that with your project right now. Here's the checklist of how to make it work. Make the control variables and link them to the widgets that they belong to. Replace all your input lines with get lines and replace all your output lines with set lines. And then link the procedure to a button so that when the person clicks on the button, it does the work. See if you can do all of this. You should have already made an interface that's in lessons one to three and you should have made a procedure in lesson four so do it now copy the procedure into the Tikinta program 
use the get set and uh, triggering commands that I've shown you. And remember, once you've got this working, the sky's the limit. You can just go straight ahead and start work on your own project whenever you like. So if you do want to apply all these ideas to your own project, you can go back to any of the presentations and double check how to do it. Let's take an overview of your task. This is what I think you should do. Design an interface for your project on paper. Make the interface by creating a window and then making those widgets and putting them in position using the grid. Now write a second program, plan the algorithm and make the program work in ordinary Python. And then last but not least, use the ideas in the current lesson to put that procedure into your interface program and link it using the control variables. And then you should have a complete working program.